Could this be the best location in an F-150 for a phone mount? The nice folks at VanMass sent me their top selling product to check out. It was good timing because I've been looking for a second phone mounting option for when I'm traveling and in rental cars and also for when I'm driving my 1995 Nissan Hardbody in perfect working order. And we'll start off here with a quick unboxing to show you what you get in the box. You get the phone holder. And this is the clip that secures everything to the other mounting options. And that right there is extra smooth. I like that. All right, this here is the window and dash mount. It's got a suction cup on it and it locks uh, to lock it securely into place. And then you've got some adjustment screws here. And this here is the air vent mounting option. And it's a little bit different design than other air vent mounts I've seen. You basically flip this switch here and lock it into place and it can grip it uh, fairly tight. Actually really tight. And then you flip it the other way to open it so you can slide it onto the air vent. Not a bad design. All right, so this is everything you get in the box. The packaging is also quite nice. Uh, but let's go ahead and jump into the F-150 and test this thing out. All right, we'll start out with the air vent mounting option. I'll go ahead and say I'm not a huge fan of air vent mounting anyways. It blocks out the cool air and the hot, and the hot air that's supposed to be coming out into the cab. Uh, so I usually try to avoid that. But in a pinch, say if you have a passenger that needs a, a phone mount location or their phone mounted, or if you're even in a rental and you're just quick and on the go and you want something small and compact, um, this is a good option, uh, but let's test this one out and see if we like it. So to get it on here, we just uh, attach it like so. And the one thing I do like about this, the gripper there has foam pads on it. So when it when it clamps onto the air vent, it's not going to damage it anyway. I used to have an air vent mounting option that really scratched up my air vents. Um, so I don't like that, but this one here. Uh, solves that problem and as you can tell here it's very sturdy man I love pushing that button see how smooth that comes out all right let's see how easy this is to take apart and attach the dash or the window attachment So this here is more than a suction cup. It's actually a very kind of grippy material. So it doesn't leave behind any residue, but it's very sticky. So this here is the cover that goes over this stickiness and it does have insulation instructions. Basically you need to clean the surface you're gonna put it on. You need to lock it once you get it on there like you do with the suction cups. And then you can reuse it uh, after you pull it off. You just gotta kind of wipe this surface down some. And it does have a pull tab there that makes it easy to get off. And I'll tell you what, I've never seen this type of product. That stuff is super sticky. Like. I'm locking it right here, but you don't need to lock it. It's so sticky. So with all that said, you can be sure that this thing is not going to fall off your window or off your dash. All right, so this thing is extra stable, but let's give it a test drive and see how it holds up. Now we're up in the next neighborhood and you'll recognize this house on the left as it has made an appearance on my channel a few times. So as we approach the house here, I will say this thing is extra stable. Uh, I've not had any issues with it driving around for a few minutes. Uh, this phone location is the first time I've tried it here. I kind of like it. Uh, you know, if I was going to do Uber, this would be the location. But you can put it anywhere on the windshield you want or on the dash. Now we'll go ahead and take this off, and I am going to disassemble it because I don't know how hard it is to take off, and I don't want to break anything. So taking this off, and let's see how sticky this stuff is and how easy we can get it off. So my audio got a little bit wonky here, so I'll give you the play-by-play, -play, but I'm trying really hard to pull this off, and it finally lets loose. 
And a few times I've called this stuff sticky. It's not really sticky. It doesn't leave behind a residue. It's more grippy. I mean, super, super grippy. Almost like a super glue, but you know, again, no residue. But anyways, this little thing that came with it, make sure you keep that in your car somewhere. That way you can put it back on and store this for later. Now let's talk specifically about the F-150. Of course you can put it on any windshield or any dash, but the F-150 has this little area here, which I never use. I just put sunglasses or something in there. But if you take this grippy thing out, it's got a very flat surface, and this may be the best location and the best phone holder to use in an F-150, uh, especially at the price point. So let's uh, go ahead and get this thing installed here and give it a quick look. As you can see, I'm installing this dead center in this compartment. A better place for it would probably be in the front corner closer to the driver. The main point is that you angle it towards the driver's seat so your phone is facing you. But wow, I'm amazed at how firm of a grip the suction cup gets. All right, let's see if I can tighten everything down with one hand. And yep, that's pretty easy. One of the main reasons I say this might be one of the best phone mounting systems for the F-150 is because there's not many places to install a mount. For instance, I have the Stilly and I love it, but no matter where I try to put it, it's always in the way of something. Like right now, it covers my screen, which causes an issue when I use my reverse camera. But with it mounted in this compartment with the van mass, that's not an issue. After watching this video, let me know what you think. And if you're interested in trying this out, I'll leave a link in the description below. And if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you on the next one.